Do you know how old the Apple TV is? The first model came out in January 2007. It's older than the iPhone. And actually, it wasn't even called that. Originally, they wanted to name it iTV, but they couldn't do it for legal reasons, so it became Apple TV. It's funny how what was an exception to the norm later became the norm, but that's definitely not what we'll be talking about today. Despite the fact that it was made by Apple, it never sold well, mainly because not many people cared. But in 2016, Apple announced the new 4th gen Apple TV, with a redesigned UI, a new remote, Siri, and most importantly, an App Store. Apple believed that apps were the future of television. They sorta of tried to transform it into a casual gaming console. Still, it didn't work. Regardless, there are rumors about a next model. So, how is it going to be? One of the major complaints people have with the current Apple TV is the remote. It has this really cool design that is not really functional though. The front is entirely glass, so it's obviously less durable than the previous version. But also, being completely black on the front makes it hard to distinguish the orientation sometimes. So, to fix both problems in a way I could see Apple doing, here's my redesign. It's pretty much the fusion of the old and the new design, because I don't think it really needs to be anything more than that. I just fixed the two issues I said before. I know that many hate the touchpad, and I can see why. It's not very intuitive if you have never used an Apple TV before, which is very likely, but by reverting back to the D-pad, it would lose the App Store compatibility. So I don't see it happening. A solution here could be to make the touchpad work like a D-pad, as well as a normal touch surface. Something else they could add to the remote is the ability to be located with the Find My app, because that was also one of the main complaints I've heard. It's really easy to lose. Also, wireless charging, of course. Maybe they could make the back out of plastic instead of glass so that it's more resistant. But other than this, another rumor is talking about 120Hz. Again, just like for the iPhones. But honestly, who cares? A TV that supports 120Hz probably already has all the smart features. So why would anyone buy an Apple TV at that point? I have no idea. But if the rumor is true, I think we can assume that the next Apple TV is not coming before the next iPhones, because it would be a bit ridiculous. I actually made an entire video about that if you are interested. Many have suggested that Apple should make a cheaper Apple TV stick, because that's what the competition is doing apparently. And sure, it would sell more than the current Apple TV, but it's a product category that will inevitably die the moment all TVs become smart TVs, which I don't think it's that far into the future. Thinking about it, in some regards, the 4th gen Apple TV kinda reminds me of the Ouya. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's because the Ouya was a gigantic failure, and it's pretty obvious why. It was a cheap console, basically meant to play Android games on a TV. The idea of playing smartphone games on a TV is stupid. They are literally designed to be as easy and minimal as possible. Many times they are just arcade games, basically. In alternative, they can be free-to-play abominations meant to make their players spend as much money as physically possible. Why would anyone want to play the stuff on a TV? It makes absolutely no sense. They try with Apple Arcade to get more fleshed out titles on iOS, but I have never even heard people talking about it, so I guess that was another failure. Apple has to stop thinking they can somehow compete with the big players of a given market without putting any serious effort just because they are Apple. It's extremely difficult to enter, let alone survive, in the console gaming market. I mean, just look at Microsoft. After the flop of the Xbox One, they tried everything they could to make people trust them again. And that wasn't even their first console. In the end, I think there is a way for Apple to save the Apple TV. And it would actually be much more than that. So, it deserves its own video. The model that's coming soon though, it's probably as boring as we are all expecting. But did you see it? I have removed the word TV and centered the logo. Now everyone has to buy it.